Hi, my name is Michael Trout, and I am the CEO of Founders Corp. And we are, think of us as an open Google. That's our vision. We want to basically create over 10,000 ideas, launching them into the space with a collaborative enterprise 2.0 framework um, called the Open Incubator Framework. So, you know, I want to do a talk right now about some of the stuff that I have in my. Um, Manual, and if you go to, if you just go to, it's really easy. If you just type, um, you know, j.mp invest in right up there, it will take you right there. J.mp will take you right to the blog post, and here you can actually download and get the manual. But let me share you with some of the stuff, and there's going to be chocker block full of really cool stuff that you're going to want to know about. And let me give you an example, something that 99% of Gmail users are unaware of, which is there. And if you use Gmail, you're going to want to use this. So here is something you will learn as a level one found up. Okay, so here I am in my Gmail. And, and if you notice, if I create a message, all right, look at all this. I can send mail out as whoever I want. I have one email. I love Gmail. Gmail is awesome, okay? The other thing I love about Gmail is if I'm sending to Gmail, guess what? I'm sending you three videos that you can watch in Gmail. No other service has that, all right? So basically what I'm sending, and most people, I mean, Gmail is probably the m number one, you know, they have 170 million users, all right? So that's pretty awesome for Gmail, 170 million users. So when I send an email to someone, the odds are they probably have Gmail. If not, I'm going to convince them with this email to get Gmail. So basically, how do you do this? It's really simple. You go to your uh, Google settings. Oh, let me give you another spin. Why Google Docs? Why are they so awesome, right? You got Calendar. You got this this cool thing now called uh, Google Plus. And the reason Google Plus really isn't anything new. They just added this kind of social networking thing to something that they've already had. They have had all of this photos, reader, video, and look at all this other stuff, right, that you have. Um, there is... Um, uh, there's uh, Google Voice, which is actually your own phone number. Um, it's awesome. I mean, there's everything you can imagine with Google. So Google Plus is just a social network added to it. That's all it is. It's it's Google Plus a social networking. Uh, it also, here's your phone call. So I can just make a phone call to anyone. There it is, my phone call. And um, you know, and uh, here's a little hack for you. All you need to do is basically use kind of like um, uh, hi, at, mask my IP to activate this. If you mask your IP, you can activate in India or anywhere else in the world. So at, mask your IP as though it's a US uh, you know, IP and you can set up this thing. Otherwise, only I believe only US people can set it up. So how do I set up my go to you know catch all? So first, you're going to go to your uh, settings, go to accounts and imports. In here, right here, send mail as. Click on this. If you have a catch-all, and let me talk about what a catch-all is, basically it's going to email to you. You're going to put in the code. Don't have to change anything. Just enter in. Simple thing. I'll just show you. Enter in the new address that you have that's going to you have access to. It's going to send you a number. Put in the number, right, and it's good to go. Moving on. Let me show you really quickly how to set up a catch-all. You're going to go to, I use GoDaddy. I love Bob. Bob Pearson, you are cool. I wish I could talk to you. I think that you would be a great guy to have as part of the team. Um, you know, the only thing I don't like about GoDaddy is just too much, too much, too busy, too busy, too busy, too busy, too busy. And some of the stuff's laid out really gay. So, but that's okay. I still love you. All right. So, uh, Microsoft email plans. No, right here. Email forwarding plans. Email forwarding plans. That's what you want. So, when you click on email forwarding plans, you're going to go to this here. And what you do is, what I love about email forwarding plans is I can give all these people, here are people that are on my team, that now if they if I, if I you write to kins at foundups.com, it's going to go to his Yahoo. Kins has a Gmail, but he hasn't made the transfer over. You're a loser. But that's okay. We can, all can't be cool like me. So, um, and, I, and I can set up, I've got Kins, I got Kins Shook, I've got Mike, I've got, you know, there's Mike, Mike, Mike. I've given Mike three emails. Like, you know, Mike can send out as any emails you want. Um, and, um, actually, I don't know why we have two of them here. I've got two here. Active, active. I've got, oh, Mike Teratuda, and I've got M Teratuda. Okay, that's why. So, this right here is a catch-all. So, once I set this up, they can set up their Gmail that I just showed you with their found-up mail, and then guess what? They have this. I hope you've enjoyed this talk on a really 
easy hack for Gmail so you can save yourself hundreds of dollars. Don't buy an email service provider. Gmail's free. Get Gmail.